Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECM Dev 30 day model for today's first video uh, for the UK and for Europe too. It's taking us well into December. Uh, so we're going to look at temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next uh, four weeks. As I say, it takes us well into uh, into the final month of the year, the first month of uh, winter 2019-2020. So we'll see what this uh, ECMDF is forecasting for um, for the UK and for the rest of Europe as well uh, for the next uh, four weeks uh, very shortly. Just say we can't show you mean sea level pressure anomalies or 500 river heights with this. We can only show you temperature and precipitation, but you can get a rough idea of what model is forecasting in terms of the pattern from its temperature and precipitation anomalies, actually. So um, I'll go over the year very shortly just to say that the second video coming up later on this afternoon is your week to 10 day video update setting out beyond that of course as well to two weeks and beyond that will be with you later on uh this afternoon we're at the Hungarian Met Office for this, so a big thank you to them for supplying us with the charts. So we begin with the week one temperature anomaly. It's week 47 uh, for the year, um, but week one for our forecast period. It takes us from the 18th to 24th of November. The east-west split that has uh, been seen for several weeks now uh, continues in the week ahead. Many western parts of Europe looking quite uh, cool, looking even quite cold with below average temperatures through much of the UK, Ireland, um, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, down into uh, France, into Spain, to Portugal, and just into the west of Germany. That's where we are colder than average in week ahead on the far western side of Europe. Going further east, though, uh, really from central parts of Germany eastwards. It's a mild of an average seam. That includes much of Scandinavia uh, as well. So we've got Scandinavia there looking uh, pretty mild in the weekend with the uh, temperature anomalies of between 3 and 6 degrees in some are areas of those. Mild average temperatures extend down like to the east of Germany and through Poland and then off down to the uh, east and the southeast of Europe too. Quite wide on the eastern side of Europe, away from uh, western Russia anyway. We find the temperature anomaly of around 3 to 6 degrees above average. It seems where split is seen in the Mediterranean uh, as well. So, uh, again, many western parts of the Med, from Corsica, Sardinia, westwards through the Balearic Islands in Spain and Portugal. Those areas are average to colder than average from Italy eastwards over the Adriatic into the Balkans I and mean, then down into Greece and Turkey. We find that again. Uh, temperatures are warmer than average in the week ahead. And as far as precipitation is concerned, this is how things are looking in terms of the uh, week one precipitation anomaly from the 18th to the 24th of November. So a lot of regional variation still looks very wet through much of the Med, and again, particularly around the central basin of the Mediterranean, so parts of Italy into the central portion of the Med. Uh, looks very wet there. There's going to be some tremendous thunderstorms around and the risk of quite severe flooding, perhaps impacting uh, Venice, uh, unfortunately, once again. All areas of the Med looking quite unsettled, really, even down to Greece. It looks quite unsettled. And Spain, Portugal having above average rainfall uh, as well. Going further north, there's a lot of dry weather to be had through the central and eastern parts of Europe. So, like from Germany over towards west of Russia, it's generally drier than average. UK and Ireland overall looking a little bit drier than average for the UK. Ireland is a little bit wetter than average. And up to Scandinavia, we've got parts of uh, western Norway looking very dry, but many central northern parts of Scandinavia, including central Norway and Sweden. Uh, there it's a, a bit above average with uh, with rainfall and of course in, uh, with precipitation of course in south that's going to be rainfall further north that will be snow and many this northeastern corner uh it's overall looking quite dry in the weekend it looks like high pressure is more influential in the north of europe and low pressure is more influential in the south uh overall in this coming week Moving on to week two, which is week 48 for 2019, takes us from the 25th 
uh, of November to the 1st of December. Then a big change across the whole of Europe, going very, very mild for this last week of the month. So quite widely here, right the way from the west over to the extreme east of Europe, and all areas in between, we see the temperature anomaly going to 3 to 6, three to six degrees above average, going very, very mild indeed. In fact, there's no cold and average temperatures anywhere across uh, Europe. The only carbon average temperatures we see here are in these, uh, this sort of central portion of Russia and then out in the middle of the North Atlantic just there. Otherwise, it's just a sea of orange and um, sort of borderline red. So it does look very, very mild for this last uh, sort of week of November. Definitely temperatures widely uh, between 3 and 6 degrees above average. That includes parts of the UK, particularly England and Wales, where we have the temperature anomaly again, 3 to 6 degrees above average, more widely across the UK. <coughs> excuse me, across the UK and Ireland, we're 1 to 3 degrees above average. So a very, very mild scene for the last days of the, the month. Precipitation-wise, looks more unsettled in the northwest again, actually. So this is quite a big change uh, as well. So we've got much of the May going dry on average, where at the moment it's very wet. It looks like we're building up higher pressure down here through southern parts of uh, Europe, presumably extending back towards the Azores High. But further north, it's actually going above average with rainfall. So Ireland and UK, we're back to wetter than average conditions again, as is much of Scandinavia, Denmark, also wet and average northern parts of Germany. Um, just generally for Northern Europe, it looks quite wet. So this is telling us there's a big change taking place here. Low pressure is obviously coming in from off the Atlantic along with the jet stream, introducing both southwest winds at the same time. Heights are rising down in the south or southern parts of Europe, so plenty of high pressure down here. Does look rather wet through um, through that southeastern part of Medbo, so places like Greece, it looks a little bit wetter than average uh, there. Mild and wet for the north of Europe to end November. And then we're into uh, week three, which is week 49 for the year. It's taking us from the 2nd to the 8th of December. Still looking very mild across many parts of Europe. There's no cold and average temperatures to be seen. Not quite as uh, mild as it is in um in the second week, but nevertheless, still over here in eastern parts of Europe and a little bit around Norway with three to six degrees above average. Otherwise, it's widely sort of um, one to three degrees above average. That's a very strong signal for week three. Normally, by this point, the, the signal is weakening away. So uh, just going very mild again across most parts of Europe and the UK and Ireland is including that for the first week of December. A little bit weaker with the rainfall or precipitation signal, but it continues to hint at the north-south split. So again, uh, much of the men is looking dry on average. Southern Europe looking uh, on the dry on average side. Northern parts of Europe, although not as strong as it is in uh, week two, still looking wet on average, really much of northern Europe in uh, week three. So it looks like we continue to bring in areas of low pressure and the jet stream with west south west east to northern Europe. And it looks like we still did have quite a lot of high pressure down here across southern parts of Europe in, uh, in that uh, week three period. And then finally, we go through to uh, week four, which is week 50 uh, for this year. So we're getting very, very close towards the end of the year now uh, with the um, four week uh, forecast. So this is taking us from the 9th to the 15th of December. Still much milder than average in most parts of Europe. It looks like it's cooling down a little bit, or reverting close to average, probably, but perhaps cooling down a little bit. It's an extreme northwestern corner, so for Ireland and the UK, northern parts of France, and possibly Spain and Portugal, just getting a little bit closer towards average. But still, probably even then, on the mild and average side. Most other areas, though, forecast to be above average once again. Temperatures 1 to 3 degrees above average, widely from light like, Scandinavia up here down to um, southern parts of Europe, around Italy, for example, uh, down there. So uh, a very mild first half of December being forecast by the ECMWF, no getting away from that. Precipitation is again continuing to weaken, uh, as it always does by the time we get through to weeks three and four. Still even now looking a little bit wetter than average in this northwestern corner. So it still looks like we're probably bringing in low pressure from off the Atlantic, even as we head up to the middle of December. The southeast is looking uh, a, little, a little bit drier 
So probably still high pressure through the southern and possibly more southeastern parts of uh, Europe. That might hint that uh, the northwest is perhaps turning a bit colder, but staying unsettled while the southeast goes drier and relatively warm, maybe. But uh, overall, that's a very, very weak signal. I wouldn't want to draw too many conclusions about that. I think the main takeaway from this is that although we're starting off relatively cool uh, across the far west of Europe for the next few days, much milder temperatures are on the way by the end of November. And if ESM is right, this is going to carry on through the first half of December. So it could be a very mild first half to December. Dry across southern Europe, but a lot wetter up in the north and certainly no sign of any anything notably wintry uh through the first half of december remember it's just a snapshot of what the model is showing so it could all look very different uh next week uh this is just a snapshot of what model is forecasting uh today so um if you're waiting for uh, some cold weather in december don't be too disheartened it could all look completely different next week Right, so that's it for the ECM 30-day uh, look ahead for this week. We'll do, do it all over again uh, next week, of course. Um, coming up later on today, we'll have your week's 10-day video updates, including all of regular features. That'll be on the homepage at gavs1things.com. So uh, come back for that then. But uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.